Blue Screen of Death basically comes when the system has malfunctioned due to either hardware or software issues. It then prevents the system from turning on normal conditions so that the problem can be rectified. Stop errors are of a different kind and can occur because of different reasons. For example, a majority of the stop errors occur because the drivers are not updated. For that, you can open up the device manager window and scan for the hardware changes. If any driver needs an update, this process will automatically install the required driver on your system. After this step, if the BSOD screen doesn't appear, that would mean that the error did in fact occur due to the driver updates. Sometimes Windows updates might not be installed properly, and it's always a good idea to check and view the update history to make sure all of the updates are installed properly. If there are any hardware changes that you might have done, the BIOS settings might be changed automatically, and therefore the changes won't get registered properly with Windows, and therefore the blue screen of death might appear. To resolve that, you can go to the BIOS setup utility and load the setup defaults. With this option, all the changes that might have been done would be reverted, and only the default settings would be loaded. If Windows is still malfunctioning, you can opt for the last good configuration option, which appears when you press the F8 key while Windows is booting up. This option would load the default Windows settings, which were present before the error started to occur. And these are basically a few steps which you can take to see what caused the blue screen of death error.